So, the movie I saw last Thursday was Star Wars Rogue One, or Rogue One A Star Wars Story, however you want to call it. The plot follows Jyn Erso and her team of pilots, fighters, somewhat Jedis, in the hunt to capture the Death Star plan. The plot, I think, the concept was excellent. The concept was, it, it's a new kind of thing for the Star Wars universe. You have this team of somewhat semi-heroes off to capture the Imperial forces, plans for the Death Star, and it was sort of a suicide mission from the start. It was a great concept, but I don't know how, the, the execution wasn't very good. I didn't like how they kind of meddled around in different kind of storylines, and they kind of started to develop characters, but they didn't really go through with any of it. It, it just got kind of annoying by the end because by the time the movie was over I felt myself not really caring about any of the characters and kind of forgetting what any of them were or even their names. The actors were alright. I mean Felicity Jones as Jenner so of course was very good and Mads Mikkelsen as her father was very good but other than that I mean the actors did an alright job. Alright so the characters we have Jin Erso, and we have her co-pilot. She she meets him on a rebel mission, and they go out and they're sent to assassinate this guy. And he was he wasn't very interesting, honestly. I don't I didn't find myself too invested in any of the characters except maybe Jin Erso, who's the daughter of the guy who's actually building the Death Star. He's creating it. He has the plans for it. Yeah, she was a good hero, a good heroine, you know, model for the little girls to look up to instead of the typical male characters that Disney, Marvel, Star Wars typically has. The visuals as always are great. Disney, Marvel, um, Star Wars are always great at creating great breathtaking visuals and they're able to create these great planet landscapes and everything around that and they're able to create an entire story around these planets and all the everything's almost everything CGI so they have they're able to create these great textures and landscapes that they're always using for like either fighting or talking or whatever whatever they do you know the one thing that kind of threw me off was that they created two characters using CGI they created Grandma Tarkin who was the lieutenant overseeing the Death Star building he was created using CGI because of his, his actor died in 1991 therefore of course making him unavailable in this film and it'd be kind of weird to have a different actor playing him. It was okay. I think they could have done better seeing how well they were able to create all the planets and whatever else was in the movie. And they also created Princess Leia using CGI which was offsetting but it, it worked alright. So in conclusion, Rogue One, a Star Wars story, was pretty decent when it comes to Star Wars movies. I was entertained certainly but I wasn't as invested as I was in, say, The Force Awakens or A New Hope or any of those movies for that matter. It was pretty decent as a Star Wars movie goes. And yeah, that's all I have to say about it. You're fine. Oh, Jared, my man. How's it going? No, you're fine, man. Anyway. What else? What else happened?